All right. Next question we have from six by six Matt. Ooh. King of demonstrators. Already own a custom 92 pilot, VAC 700 r Twisby, and Opus 88. Opus 88. <laughs> Demonstrator, I would assume. Right. So Drew, you have some feelings. I have a declarative statement. Oh. Right out are of the you, gate. Are you feeling like you can crown a king of demonstrators? I, yes. I, I believe it has to I think be. You're, I think you might be more confident about this than me, but go ahead. Well, I usually am because <laughs> you're going to be like, oh, it depends on what you call a demonstrator. I could demonstrate anything. <laughs> that does sound like me. <laughs> that does sound like me. You kind of nailed it. <laughs> what am I demonstrating? What am I wearing while I'm demonstrating? It? No, that's okay. Um, that's so, so true. <laughs> that's so true. So um, I have to say the Twisby 580, right? Because it mm, is, you know, Twisby. It's pretty solid Twi- Twisby has a thing where like they have said, we are going to do demonstrators. They literally call the pen the Diamond 580. Because right. of like the diamond pattern on the pen. It has this gorgeous facets was, that are there to make the ink look good. I mean, mm-hmm. what other demonstrator other than the 580 says, we're not just going to show you the ink. We're going to show you the ink in a very, very aesthetically pleasing way where we're going to reflect the ink for you. And the Twis- mm-hmm. so Twisby has, has basically said, we're going to do demonstrators. That's going to be our thing. Yeah. And Opus 88 kind of does that too. They're, they're in the zone where they're like focusing primarily on demonstrators. Yeah, like you can tell like that was the intention like from the onset. Yeah, we're going to yeah. design a pen around this goal. So they're definitely doing that and they do it well but not as well as Twisby. Twisby, I think, owns the demo-only market. There are plenty other brands that also do demonstrator pens successfully, but Twisby has basically you know, staked their flag there, and uh, I got to give them credit for that. So the 580 is not only a beautiful-looking pen as a demonstrator because it shows you the ink in there in a very, very nice way. The Ego mm-hmm. also very, very nice because it's a smooth barrel, so you get to see every last little detail. True. So the 580 Diamond does refract a little bit more, so it you could argue it makes it less clear. I like the mm. 580 because of that look, but mm. what I also love about the 580 that I would not give the Eco extra points for is as a demonstrator, mm-hmm. it is fully disassemblable, and as a demonstrator, it does not have an inner shroud in the grip section that can capture ink between the nib gri- the nib feed housing and the outer grip. Okay. And that is a common thing with sailor and mm. pilot demonstrators. They have some beautiful beautiful demonstrators, but they have this thing mm. where ink gets all up in between the outer grip and the inner um, housing unit. What's the problem with that? I don't like looking at ink and you can't get it clean. You just got to fundamentally change who you are oh and what your preferences no. are. So the, the, the 580 allows you to completely pull that out, clean it. The Eco's not bad either. It doesn't have an inner thing. It's just, but, it's, but you know, it's but like a, stuff can get caught up in there. Yeah. That's more like, you know. But you can, but you can pull the feed and clean it. It's just one yeah, piece. Yeah. It's not an inner outer situation. Fair, fair. So that, that to me, you know, has to, uh, has to give points to the 580. And I did want to also shout out the Pilot Prera, which is a demonstrator that doesn't get nearly enough credit. Um, a lot of fee- a lot of people, I think, write it off because you're more or less paying sixty some dollars for the same writing experience that you could get with a you know you know ten dollar Kakuno. Um, so that's it's the same nib, but it's really well made. The capping the cap is function. Oh my god, it's so pretty good. Phenomenal. And that one, you can also completely clear the grip section. So it's not a mm-hmm. double double walled grip section. So you can clear it's that. So, so yeah, I, I'm going to give an honorable mention to the Prera, but give the crown to the Diamond 580. I would say if the Diamond 580 is the, is the king in your scenario, that the Eco would be the prince. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could say like, that. You know, it's definitely, it's it's in the same lineage. For sure. But I don't know that the Eco could For sure. rule the kingdom. Well, I mean, the, 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 yeah, the, the prince is more approachable. You know, it's going to be easy to meet him. Doesn't have quite as much like responsibility. Right. You know, right. Maybe one day might, but he's going to show up for more events, probably. <laughs> yeah. You know, more yeah. and more charity functions. He's going to cut more ribbons. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what princes do? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. I have no idea what we're talking about here. Um, I had a couple others. I, you know, I, I think I get the vibe of like, what is the the king metaphor in this situation? Yeah. Like, um, but I yeah, I just left it open. You know, it depends on how you interpret. You can say what you want to say. How I'm you not going to judge you. You say what like, you want to say. Like king of demonstrators. I didn't know like maybe it's like what's the most popular because, you know, if we're not going with like 
price and size and all this kind of stuff, I would say like just the OG clear platinum preppy. There's so many people that have that pen. You're right. And you can eyedropper convert mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. like super affordable, crazy reliable pen. I could make an argument in some definition or scenario that the Platinum Preppy could be a contender, but like really, it's like one of the most affordable pens out there. I so mean, it's like you could say I you know. you could say. Um, I, I think it's safe to say that the Preppy has been sold more than the 580 has for sure. Uh, by volume, I'm certain yeah. that has like hundred so percent. If you're like going that route, yeah. If you're indicates. going that route, you know, hey, salute the salute the Preppy for sure. Yeah. I mean, for that matter, the Lamy Vista. That's been around for a while. That's a good one. It yeah. doesn't often get a lot of just like, wow, You're this right. is such a unique pen because it's it's really a Lamy Safari. In mm -hmm. fact, it was first came out as the Lamy Safari Vista. It was basically a variant of the Safari, mm -hmm. but it just became so known as the Vista color, they just call it the Lamy Vista. I mean, when we group it on our website, I'm sure we group it with the Safaris. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But I mean, that is a demonstrator pen. Yeah. And I think you could argue that is a very solid it is, and for that for that pen. price, you know, when you get into like lower price demonstratory things, like oh look, I'm buying a clear this, whatever the product might be, yeah, the 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 more affordable you get, the more cloudy the resin usually gets. It's um, possible, yeah. It's, so, it's, but it's that, harder to get it crystal clear. Yeah, you know? like that. Um, oh, you have to pay for it. It takes work and effort to make something crystal clear. You got to well, polish inside yeah. and out and. Um, or, you know, like like the Preppy is pretty crystal clear as well. Yeah. And there even is a Preppy crystal. That's a thing that's come out that's even like more clear if you if you want to make that argument. Um, but, you know, to, to get a really clear plastic like that, sometimes it's more brittle. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the plastic and how it's yeah. made and that kind of stuff. So there's always a trade off like, you know, think about like the Bic crystal like ballpoint pen. Right. Like, yeah, that's it's, it's clear, but like yeah. you sit on that thing and it's going to crush into a thousand yeah. pieces. I mean, the, the, pre the Preppy can crack for of. sure. The preppy can crack. Like I yeah. have cracked preppies. If Me I've too. had it in my pocket and sat on it, you know, always on the threads. Can't, but it's so inexpensive. It's you know, right. It's not as much a concern. But um, you know, so it's like it is pretty durable. But yeah, if you drop that pen the wrong way on you know in the parking lot or something like that, it can crack and scratch and stuff like yeah. that. Um, that is where like the eco actually really does shine because um, I know that that was part of what they were going for, and they they do like. I don't, I can't, I'm trying to remember because it's been a while since I've like really looked all into this. So I might be speaking a little outside my expertise. I know they do like a very specific kind of like coating treatment sort of thing that's that's quite involved on the 580 in order to get it so crystal clear. Mm -hmm. um, I believe they do something similar on the Eco, but I think the, the, the type of plastic might be slightly different on the Eco. And I so think it is. I think is that, this ringing a bell at all? I think it is because I remember at one point, um, being told that uh, the eco would be more susceptible to uh, getting cloudy if used with with uh, alcohol, denatured alcohol, right? I like, believe that was that it, it would yeah. cloud more or something. Yeah. Because I don't know if that was because of the treatment that it was or something, or the lack of. Yeah, yeah. So, so I know there is some slight difference in either the material or the treatment that's done. Yeah, you know, between the two pens. But either way, I mean, they're both very, very clear looking pens. Yeah. So, you know, there is some trade off and usually the more affordable the pen, the more potential there is for that. Um, and then I was thinking if you wanted to go more of like the premium route to mm -hmm. think of like, cause I think of the, the same definition you have of like, what is a flagship model pen? Right. Like, like flagship, if you're talking about a car, for example, might be something that sits in the showroom that nobody like, really dry. Yeah, it's like who gets to define flagship? Does the dealer define it? Like, hey, I mean, this is our flagship car, is it? So like my understanding to me, in my mind, like I before I really knew anything growing up or whatever, I thought flagship just meant like the most popular one that you think of that's kind of like the brand is known for. But I think more officially by its definition, a flagship would be like the most premium model. So you think of like the where the term flagship, I believe where it comes from has to do with like an armada or some kind of like, yeah. you know, back back in the days where you had like wooden ships and in the in naval situations, the flagship was the biggest ship that all the other ships could look back to and they would literally signal the flags yeah. to do the oh. whatever navigation during battle. So the flagship was like the biggest, you know, most impressive, most visually flattering mm. ship not necessarily like the most popular, like you wouldn't have as many. So 
in that respect, I could make a different argument than like the 580 or something like that. I could go with something more like a Pelican M1000 demonstrator, M1005 demonstrator. Usually they only do them in like limited edition. Yeah, I was about to say, we've never even sold one and, of those. No, and I don't even know if they make them on any kind of a regular basis, but I think of that type of pen as being more of a flagship pen or say like a sailor. Well, no one ever said flagship. They said king. Well, so if I'm going with, there's like a relationship, right? Like, ooh, sorry. In the, in the days of kings right you're looking you would for the have biggest, like biggest most navies flashy. with flagships right okay like, so fair enough okay i see wanna, where you're going I i'm see just leaving going. it open to interpretation no, here, no i'm not against know? this i'm I'm, so, feel, I'm feeling this uh, if you if you wanted to go with like most impressive most regal right i i mean the 580 could make an argument for that but i would think something like maybe like a sailor 1911 or you know can, like that the clear one with the gold hardware right that looks like good that you could that is a good looking i think that you gotta throw that one in the mix yeah you know, that's where like the Pelican kind of thing could go in. So I don't know. Depends which chart we want to go with it. Yeah, that's true. None of this matters. And yeah, yeah. Who's electing up, the king? Nobody. Nobody. The king just whatever. <laughs> does it. I, I, I can't even say anymore. I knew nothing about any of this, but uh, we threw, we threw hopefully some we had some good there. bands here.